so uh, this particular night I was uh, having a conversation with my, my mom and dad's pastor at church and we were we had a training coming up that that coming weekend we were just talking about how um, you know how we we as, as Christians we, we've just become so um, you know the, the urgency is just not there to share the gospel how we need to be bolder about sharing the gospel and uh, anytime God leads us to do that we need to really be be bold about sharing the gospel when he leads us to and so uh, he, he and I were talking about this, and I was, I'm real passionate about that, you know. And so uh, that night I had to go to Walmart uh, because my printer was acting up, and so I had to go get a printer because I had to have this stuff printed. And so I go to Walmart, and, uh, and I go in, I get a printer. As I'm coming out, um, there, there's a guy coming in. He's probably uh, 30 yards from me, uh, and I know the guy. Uh, and and he, he, he's a guy that, uh, just to be honest, I, I never really had a whole lot of use for. He's just a guy I didn't really care for that much. Uh, and and he but he throws his hand up and says, "Hey man, you know, just really friendly." And I was like, "Hey, what's going on?" And then as I walk on, I was just like, uh, "You know, it's really strange." And I said that out loud to myself as I was walking to my truck because, you know, I know this guy knows, you know, that, that he and I are not like best buddies or anything. And so, so I'm walking to my truck, and, and as I get to my truck, you know, God's like, "You need to go ask this guy to forgive you, and share the gospel with this guy." And I'm just like. Man, no way. You know, I said, he'll think I'm crazy. You know, one, he's already going to Walmart. I'm already at my truck. And, and so, so I'm just, I, I just get in my truck and I start driving. And, and God begins to convict me about it. You were just out there talking to your, your pastor tonight about how we got to be bolder sharing the gospel. And you hear me clearly telling you to share with this guy, and you're not going to do it. So I, I keep driving, but I'm slowing down. You know, I make the left and I make the right and I'm driving. And, and God's like, you're going to do a training this weekend where you stand up in front of people and say, we need to be bold about sharing the gospel. And you're not going to go share with this guy right now. And so, man, the conviction is taking over. And, and, and the thing that really got me was that, uh, man, God said, you know, that here's this guy's soul. This might be his only chance to hear the gospel. And you're not going to go share with him. And so this time I'm going like five miles an hour. And, and so I turn around and I go back and, uh, and I just I didn't see him. I don't know what he drives. I didn't see him come, come in exactly. But I seen where he was coming from. So I just went back and parked where I saw him coming from. And I, I was still trying to talk myself out of it, but I just bought these note cards and I had a pen. And so I got him out and I got out of my truck and I'm just still nervous, you know, and I'm going, you know, he's probably already gone. You know, about that time I turn around uh, to face Walmart and, and then here he comes walking right towards me. And so, man, I just uh, – he looked at me kind of strange, like, what's up, man, you know? And, and I said, well, man, I said, I, I tried my best to get out of this, uh, but, you know, God, God just wouldn't let me. And so I, I need to ask you to forgive me uh, because my attitude towards you has not been right, and, and I need to ask you to forgive me for that. And he says, yeah, yeah, man, that's fine. And I, and I just asked him, I said, you know, what, what made you say hey to me? And he said, well, I've just always felt uh, some tension, and so I, I just 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 trying to be nice. And I was like, well, man, that's God. I said, because he also wants me to share this with you. And so I, I had a chance to share uh, the three circles with, with Joe um, and, and share the gospel with him. And then just ask him, I said, you know, where, where are you at on this thing? And he, he pointed to the brokenness piece. And, and so I said, is there anything keeping you uh, from, from receiving Jesus and, and, and making him your boss? And he said, you know, there's a thousand excuses I could give. Uh, but no, there's really not. And so uh, he, he didn't really feel real comfortable praying, so I, I just prayed for him. And then, and then I said, when I finish praying, you, you just ask God, you know, just say what's on your heart. And so when I finished praying, Joe uh, asked Jesus to be his boss and, and, and decided to follow Jesus that night in the Walmart parking lot. And, uh, and it was an awesome experience. Uh, I tried my best to be disobedient, but God stayed on my case, and, uh, and I was, was obedient. And, and, just, and God just taught me in that that, if his Holy Spirit is leading us to share with somebody, he's already preparing that person uh, for us to talk to him. We just need to be obedient. It doesn't matter necessarily what we say because it's his work. Uh, we just need to be obedient and, 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 and do what God tells us to do when he tells us to do that. And So that night I got to see uh, uh, a guy come into the kingdom, and it was a, a true blessing.